Let's get to Baringa County now. And uh, West, actually, West Pokot, uh, Governor John Longanya Poo earlier issued a financial statement of the county citing underhanded dealings as one of the reasons of loss of funds. Let's listen in on what he said earlier. Now, three months since I took over as Governor of West Pokot County. However, as my team settled down in office, we have discovered numerous financial scandals that were committed by the past regime. This has seen our poor county lose hundreds of millions of shillings in underhand deals that are highly illegal and criminal. In August, just after taking over the office, I asked the National Construction Authority to conduct an audit on the ongoing projects. And uh, here in, before me is a very damning report that showed that the cost of most of the projects are highly inflated. Work is halfway done. The workmanship is poor, but total payment has already been done for most of them. Furthermore, there was total disregard to procurement laws in Kenya, a lack of professionalism, which saw very many briefcase contractors awarded lucrative tenders that they had no capacity to handle. We have noted that the last government initiated numerous construction projects, particularly buildings, which are offices. And the sole purpose was not to improve the lives of the people of West Pocot, but rather to enrich some county officials through arbitrary awards of contracts and kickbacks. A total of 23 projects have so far been analyzed out of the many, but none of them met the required standards of construction. We picked the large ones, 23 of them, but the others have not, the project, the, pro, the progress, is, progress is still on. The financial integrity was lacking, and the public did not get the value of money spent. Furthermore, contractors were not registered by NCA, National Construction Authority, and or some of them did not have a valid practicing license for the year 20. 15, 2016, 2016, 2017. In fact, as we speak now, the National Construction Authority, NCA, is already going to institute disciplinary actions against these unlicensed con con contractors.